All right, Fit Lifers, Drew Canoli. It's another episode of Fit Life TV. Um, I'm gonna make a phone call right now. Rhonda Hoffman. She's been following Fit Life for a while. She's part of our membership program. She's down 102 pounds. Hello. Hello, Rhonda. Yes. Drew Canoli. Oh my word! Hello, Drew. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. Hey, I'm I'm so impressed and so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself, and I I am so thankful for your help. You have no idea. <laughs> well, that's that's what I do. That's why I'm here, and um, I'm grateful that you're as receptive as you are, and you're you've definitely woken up and, and applied every single thing that you've learned because you look stunning. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, a long way to go, yeah. But I, I feel better, and that's, that's the most important thing. I feel so much better. Yeah, so 100 pounds, what does it feel like? Like walking around, it, like not it's having... It's amazing. It, it's incredible. I can touch my toes. I can tie my shoes. I can put on socks. <laughs> you can dance. You look like you were dancing in that photo that you took, by the way. You know what? I do. I dance all the time when I'm eating in the kitchen and I'm pouring water and making juice. I'm dancing. It's amazing. <laughs> so, so juicing has been a pivotal part of this, obviously. And, um, oh, absolutely. I, I know looking at the comments now because we just posted that picture on Facebook, a lot of people are asking, you know, what did you juice? Because I think there's a lot of confusion out there. Uh, somebody uh, that, that sees that picture, what would you tell them? I used a lot of your recipes, the recipes that you post on Facebook and your website. I use a lot of those. Um, my, I love kale. So the, the kale, the green juices, all of those mean green juices, I put them up on the internet. And I also, I love sweet potatoes, beets, and carrots. Very nice. I love that combination. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, um... A lot of people love beets because it's real good. It's a bone builder and it gives people energy, especially athletes. You know, the Olympians are using it now. A liter of beet juice before these long triathlons and, and riding their bikes and everything else. So it's it's amazing for energy. Yeah, it is. It really is amazing. And I love I I never would have eaten a beet in my life yeah. until last January. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the shift. You know, every single person that that has a life-changing transformation, whether it be physical, mental, spiritual, financial, always has this defining moment and this why. And we talk about it on the membership website, which you're a part of, but what was your reason for why? Why did you decide to do this? Tell us about that. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't going anywhere. I was too ashamed of myself to go outside. Mm -hmm. And that's not me. It was never me. I, I was always very outgoing, very gregarious, just um, very personable person. And I was so ashamed of myself that I stopped even meeting people. I stopped yeah. going to my, I was having phone conferences with my children's teachers because I was too ashamed to meet them. So that's pretty much when it, it had to stop. I, um, I stopped taking Christmas pictures Last year, I wouldn't be in any of the Christmas pictures. Yeah. So, so it, like every year before, I made a, a resolution, and it just so happened I, a few documentaries fell into my lap about juicing and raw food eating, and it, it just it clicked. And as soon as I started it, the immediate results mm -hmm. really changed everything. At the end of 30 days, I, I felt... Why don't everyone? Why doesn't everyone know about this? This is miraculous. Oh, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah, and that gave me that gave me the inspiration to get out and exercise because it was it was very difficult at, at over four hundred and sixty pounds to even be inspired to exercise. Everything hurt. Yeah, what did you do? Like what when you were four hundred fifty pounds? What was your workout? Uh, I was I was trying to make my way to, we had a community pool, and I would go to the pool and try and do that as much as I could, but even getting back and forth to the pool was a struggle. Mm -hmm. So as I, said, as, as I started juicing and losing more and more weight, it became easier to then get out and walk, and I'd walk with my children, and we just walked. So, so what I'm hearing, Rhonda, is that it was all about 
basically taking that first step and taking action and, and just doing a little bit more each and every day. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then even, even those days where you didn't quite reach the bar, you'd, yeah. you'd get up the next day and say, well, that was yesterday, today I'm going to do it again. Yeah, that's amazing. A lot of people set themselves up to fail. You know, if you do, if you mess up one day and you eat, you know, a half a bag or a bag of potato chips, accidentally you feel bad about it and you make yourself bad. So what do you do the next day? You do it again because you you've made yourself this victim and you've made yourself bad. But you made yourself a winner each and every single day, no matter what would happen, and and it shows. I mean, you're you're down over a hundred pounds. That's incredible. And it feels amazing. And- uh, my next goal is to be under 300 by Christmas. I was just going to so ask that, you what your next. Where we're going. I was just going to ask <laughs> you what your next goal was, and you answered it. So, <laughs> there we go. so 300 pounds down under 300 pounds before Christmas. That's the goal. Yes. What's your plan of attack? Well, right now um, I've, I've recently moved, so I'm living on a very steep hill, and I've got the house at the very top of a very steep hill. So we're walking every day. This has been day five of our, we've, we've been doing a mile and a half every day up and down this hill. And, and juicing. <laughs> Moving and juicing. Sounds like my That's kind of regimen. Uh, abs- and dancing. Can't forget to dance. Moving, dancing, and smiling. You have a gorgeous smile. I love that picture. <laughs> what does your friends and family think? They're so supportive. It's been it's been wonder. I have I have amazing support. I really do. And uh, through everything, through the gaining, the weight, the depression, everything, they've been there for me, and even more so now. Yeah, because you. Bro- several of them have commented on your post already. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll we'll get over probably two thousand likes on that picture and, and seven hundred comments. What I love about that oh, is goodness. it's it's just so much support for you and, and everybody sees the good. You know, it's there's no judgment. Everybody sees that, that they're on their own paths and you're on your own path. And yeah, it's remarkable. It's incredible. Yeah. It puts a big smile on your face, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so funny because if you had asked me last year if I would if I would ever do something like this yeah I have my picture at this weight or higher on the internet for all people to look at now I wasn't even taking Christmas pictures with my family yeah you, you feel proud to feel the way that I do it these pictures it's amazing <laughs> And here's what happens. Now that you've built up the momentum, those Christmas pictures, you're going to be even more motivated to share those. And it's just like uh, this, this perpetual, it's, it's momentum. I like to refer to momentum as Mo, my friend. And you have Mo backing you now. And there's no way Mo is going to let you off the hook. <laughs> you're going to do it. We're amazing, Drew. I, I love your show. I love watching your stuff. Keep the recipes coming, please. Yeah, I'll definitely keep the recipes coming. Um, what would you tell somebody that's just getting involved with Fit Life TV or, or juicing animals or juice up your life? What would you say to them that they're kind of hesitant in starting their own program? Oh, gosh. Um, I would say to get their hands on as much information and watch the documentaries. Yeah. Watch. Um, that, that's really important. That was a, a big wake-up call for me is really get your hands on the information on micronutrients and and see what they do for you and then just try it for 10 days even even 10 days the weight loss was incredible and you see what it can do for your energy and then get out in the sun (laughs) get out in the sun was that the last part yeah oh yeah get out in the sun feel feel the sun on your face stop staying indoors so outside of juicing what else are you eating oh well and i've gone vegan uh, and I've eliminated dairy and meat from my diet. And did that make a big, did eliminating that make a big difference on your depression? Huge, huge difference. (laughs) Absolutely. And it it just seemed to, it clicks when you give it up. Mm -hmm. But even removing milk from my coffee, at first I was, oh, milk from my coffee, really? And then it Mm -hmm. just... You know, everything just clicks. After you do it for a while, you go, this is just better. It's just better. Yep. More mental awareness, more energy. 
Uh, better even yeah, relationships. Even where your relationships are dependent on the nutrient intake every single day. I think for me personally, I, I think every single one of my, you know, psychological deficiencies is all about my nutrient deficiencies. So if we're getting the right nutrients, then I think it's it can definitely make a huge, huge impact on our lives. And it's you witnessed that. So were you on a bunch of medication and now you're off of medication? Like tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. I've, I've, I've never been on medication. I was terrified of doctors. And so I, I was probably, <laughs> I, would, I probably should have been. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I avoided everything and everyone. <laughs> so I, I really don't know. And I, I wasn't on any medication. Yeah. But, uh, you know, just the, just the difference in how I feel and how I act every day. There's, I won't miss a day of of some kind of exercise now. I just won't. It, 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 it'd be a horrible thing for me to do. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And if more people would just put the right foods in their body and, and get outdoors and exercise, it would completely change the entire world. Oh, absolutely. And I think, I think outdoors is key. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you start, when you start to you search out the vegetables and you start realizing and you, you know, like I say, all of the reading and the, about vitamin D and just getting your hands in the dirt, but I hope to start my own garden. <laughs> so it's because it, you just start realizing all of these senses are way awakened when you get outside and you start, you know, really being interested in your food. Absolutely. And we're still getting inundated with all kinds of questions. I'm looking at it right now. But maybe in the future I'll bring you online and we can, you and I will do a joint webinar or something where we can answer some people's questions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you'd be open to that. That would be so much fun. And I would, I would love to send you a juicer if you'd be open to that. Jill, are you serious? I had to leave my, ju my juicer in Texas. <laughs> So now you need a new juicer anyway. So, I absolutely do. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> you've done an oh, amazing. Would... You've done an amazing job, and and I think that hard work and effort has paid off. And I want to like personally give that to you. So I'm gonna send you a Jay Cordich Power Grind Pro. It's like a three hundred and sixty five dollar juicer, and um, oh my God! <laughs> it's, it's gonna help you along your juicing journey for sure. Oh, now you made me cry. <laughs> and I, I know, so much. I know everyone, you don't understand the ripple effect this is going to have. I mean, because of your transformation, I, I believe 100 to 200,000 people could transform if they see this picture and they hear this video on YouTube or, you know, whatever, whatever it is, I think we can really make an impact. Oh, God bless you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so that uh, what's your end goal? Let's let's forget about Christmas. Where do you want to be? What's your end goal? Uh, I want to see one hundred and forty-five pounds. Okay. I'm five foot ten. Perfect. Okay, so one hundred and forty-five pounds. What does it look like? Tell me what one hundred and forty-five pounds looks like to you. <laughs> Looking hot in a pair of jeans, that's what it looks like. All right, all right, fair enough. From your friends, like when you're 145 pounds, what are they saying to you at that particular point in time? Uh, they're saying how proud they are of me. Because uh, they knew I could do it. Because every one of them has always said that they know I can do it. And it will be nice to hear them say they knew it. They told me so. All right, so now what I want you to do, and this is what I do with all my high-end coaching clients, is I want you to pretend that I'm you at 145 pounds, and I want you to tell the new you how you feel and what it's like being that 145 pounds and how proud you are of that person that's inside of you. Oh, I want to walk tall. <laughs> I want to walk really tall with my head held up, smiling at everyone, saying hello to everyone, and showing how much I love this world. All right, so talk to me. 
and use your own name. You know, say Rhonda, I'm so proud of you, and then just let it flow of the whole experience of going from 467 pounds down to 145. Talk to me like I'm you. Rhonda, I know and I knew that you could do this. I knew you could do it. I knew you were going to get here. I knew you were going to do amazing things for everyone around you, for your family, for your friends, for yourself. See the world, see everything that you missed by staying inside for all those years. Wow. How do you feel? That's just right. <laughs> I want you to say that every day, okay? I will. I absolutely will. That, that feels so good. <laughs> I want you to keep smiling. And I can and, uh, feel her inside now. I can feel her. Yeah. I want you to keep smiling, and I want you to keep dancing, okay? I will. I will. Thank you so much, Drew. And, and I'm here to support you on your juicing journey as well. And whatever you need from me, reach out. And maybe one day you and I will have a juice in person together. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. Enjoy the weekend. And uh, thank you for thank taking you. the time to, to pick up my call today. Oh, thank you so much. And again, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Your beautiful spirit. And God bless everybody out there. They're just so inspirational. It's awesome. Yeah. We'll talk soon, okay? All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's powerful. When you can talk to yourself as the future you, it creates this, this new element, this new depth, this new person that's been inside of you this whole entire time. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. You know, it, even any mental situation you're going through or financial, talk to the new you and do it every single day. Whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life, when you, whatever it is that you want to bring into your experience, it could even be a relationship, start talking to the new you as if it's already happened. And I think if Rhonda does this every single day like she's committed, we will see her at 145 pounds and it'll be a lot faster than we've ever imagined. So remember, we're in this together. Drew Canoli, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.